Yes. And now still to come, we'll be chatting to author and children's laureate Frank Cottrell Boyce. Said his name correctly. Yes. About how children across the country should be putting pen to paper and letting their creativity run wild. But first, a different kind of creativity. Now, when you hear the words the Turner Prize, most people think of Tracy Emin's messy bed or Damien Hirst's tiger shark. But this year, the most prestigious award in the art world is turning 40. So we sent art lover H from Steps to find out more. Since it was first introduced in 1984, the Turner Prize has never been far from the headlines. It's revolutionised the way that we look at contemporary art. Every year the exhibition transforms those on the shortlist from unknown artists into household names. And as it celebrates its 40th birthday, the Turner Prize is still the most important award in British art. A testament to the legacy of J.M.W. Turner, the pioneering English artist it was named after. I am an artist and I love art, but the Turner Prize has always been a bit of a mystery to me. I think it's time I found out what all the fuss was about. Kit Bryan is an art historian, collector and curator. It really has been the birthplace of some of the most important living artists in this country. And sometimes you get some good old fashioned paintings, sometimes you get videos, sometimes you get installations, sometimes you get performance. That's the thing that's so exciting about the Turner Prize, you never know what to expect. My earliest memories of the Turner Prize are Tracy Emin's bed. It didn't actually win that year, did it? Yeah, sometimes the most headline growing artworks aren't the ones that win. That year, Steve McQueen took the top spot. Other winners have included Anthony Gormley and Grayson Perry. But over the years, the work of some nominees has been a bit more mm, challenging. I mean, sharks. Paintings made of elephant dung. Mm -hmm. There have been many nominees and winners over the years that have caused quite a stir. I mean, I think Martin Creed's light bulb going on and off yeah. is just absolutely classic. How mad it made everybody. Okay. Like, why is this art? And you want to explain it and say art is all about light, art is all about bright ideas. So he did something that was basically very cheeky. This year's Turner Prize 2015 winner is. In 2015, a group of architects and designers called Assemble won with their work Granby Four Streets, an urban regeneration project in Liverpool. For the exhibition, they created a full-scale model of one of the houses. Charles Smith and Maria Lisa Goskea are two members of the group. You were the first group to win the Turner Prize. Yeah, it was a real surprise to be you know, even nominated. We come from an architectural background, working on quite humble projects. Yeah, I think everyone was quite shocked. <laughs> so you must have rattled a lot of people's cages. There was certainly a discussion around whether this constituted art. We try not to get involved too much in that discussion because for us, it was a great opportunity to get an amazing bit of publicity. The price has always divided opinion and made us question what art is. And over the years, at galleries all across the UK, more than two million people have visited Turner Prize exhibitions. This year, the Turner Prize will be returning to Tate Britain in London, where it will be showcasing the work of four very different artists. There's Pio Abad, whose drawings and sculptures explore colonial histories. Claudette Johnson, who creates striking portraits using pastels and watercolors. Jasleen Cole. Her sound compositions bring everyday objects to life. And Delaine Liver, who builds immersive worlds with theatrical costumes and sculptures. Director of Tate Britain, Alex Farkerson, is chair of the Turner Prize jury. The nominees are so diverse. Right. How are you going to decide on a winner? It's really, really difficult. I mean, my job is to really ensure the debate is fair, but I also have to ensure they actually make a decision because <laughs> I'm picking a favourite child or something. This year's nominees are busy putting the finishing touches to their installations and the winner will be announced later in the year. For the last 40 years, the Turner Prize has been challenging our perception of what contemporary art is. We've been shocked, baffled and amazed. I wonder what the next 40 years will bring. Oh, 
Oh, thanks very much, H. And uh, you can see the four finalists, all their, their work at Tate Britain from tomorrow. Uh, time now to talk about a moment so many of you have been waiting for. We are launching the BBC's 500 Words Writing Competition. Yeah, now earlier in the year we were invited by...